My name is Jayun Kim and today's case is mandibular posterior immediate implant placement and bone graft. Patient has a vertical root fracture on number 36 tooth and he feel pain. So I plan to extract the number 36 tooth and place the right size fixture on it. This is the intraoral photos. I extracted this with the extraction forcep because right after extraction, I'm going to place the implant. So I rim the tooth gently. Without any bone destruction. Because there is vertical root fracture on major side of root, so there is a lot of granular tissue and bone destruction on major side. So I remove the granular tissue with surgical thread. Gently, I remove it and as a cell line irrigation and remove it. After I remove the granular tissue, I check the ruler with the distance because the first molar has a average size is 10 to 11 millimeter for major to distal size. So I check the ruler the behind the premolar as a 5 millimeters. And I start with the Lindemann drill. The site is the septum area. And then first twist to drill. And I always check the parallel pin so the site and the pass. As I plan, the initial drilling point is on the septum area and 5 mm behind the premolars. Then I keep on drilling by sequential. The most important point of immediate implant placement is keep on drilling on same side with same path of drilling. Because I want to place the white size fixture, I step on the white size drill, twist drill. Then I use the countersinking drill because there is very thick cortical bone. At the same way, I place the implant in the same side with same direction as I drilled. 90% with engine driven placement and last 10% I always use the hand wrench to feel the final torque of insertion and the depth is about 1 to 2 mm deeper than the bone level. ISQ value measurement is processing and the value is good. Then I connect the healing abutment. And I use allograft bone graft material for the bone graft for function. Because there's a large size of defect on major side. And there's also distal side with 
extraction socket. So I gently insert the bone graft material in the socket and defect side. This is the CGF membrane made by patient blood or you can use just collagen membrane or collatate. Firstly, I use the figure of a suture to more closely adapt the flap to the healing abutment. In the immediate implant placement, you don't have to adapt the flap fully closing or just adapt the flap closer. That's all. After I use the figure of A to close the flap, there's a slight gap between buccal flap and healing abutment. So I use another anchor suture to adapt the buccal flap more closely the healing abutment. And this is the panoramic view of implant placement. And right after one week, the flaps are closely adapted and there is a secondary healing near the healing abutment and the sequence of healing is very good. Thank you for listening.